good fam uh welcome to my graphics thank you all for tuning in so due to popular demand people have been uh, contacting me facebook instagram people have been asking me to do some tutorials from uh doing the line arts to doing the shading doing the hair so uh i thought about it and i was like okay let me do some tutorials so that i can share with you all how i do my cartoons and yeah uh i think i'll be doing uh some videos and i want them to be at least uh, 15 minutes long maximum i don't want to make some long videos that that are gonna bore you at the end of the day so short videos packed with a lot of information and along the way i'll ask you guys to send me some of your artworks so that uh, i can see and do some reviews before i can do another video you know before uh, before i start a new video i'll look at your cartoon share them with uh, other part of the family other members of the family so yeah with that being said let's get into illustrator and see how we're gonna start this thing so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna reset everything so that everything can be in default okay this is how everything looks in default i don't usually need this thing so i'm gonna close everything i'm gonna close everything i'm gonna close all those things and leave the layers uh due to personal preference i like to keep these tools on my right hand side i don't know it's just a personal preference yes there's nothing special about it you can just decide to leave them where they are or you can do like me uh i don't use this thing so close them okay. <laughs> excuse me for most of you all you are not gonna have the control panel so i will highly recommend that to have your control panel on so that you don't struggle to um navigate through your your feel your strokes your your paint brushes and everything you know your opacity so to turn on your control panel you just go into window then you'll we'll see the control panel if it's off you won't be able to see it here you just turn it on and then boom there it is the next thing i like to do i prefer to have my properties panel beside my layer panel i like to keep them like this so that i can find my uh my what are those tools called uh let me see yeah my pathfinders my pathfinders i use this for merging the dividing and uniting so we will get more into detail about those things later on for now let's keep it simple uh one more thing i like to add so my tutorials will be mostly based on people who are using uh, mouses or you have a tablet that doesn't have any pressure sensitivity like mine so just the same as a as a, as a using a mouse you know so it's a it's a cheap it's a low budget uh pad doesn't have any spe special abilities to it <coughs> okay so what you're gonna do to have though to have that uh special effect that's almost the same as using a pressure pen what we do we create our own uh yeah, stroke or whatever you can call it let's make sure that it's on black everything is zero make everything zero make sure it's black then select your ellipse tool then okay it's selected let's draw our 
stroke make sure try to make it as thin as possible but not that much thin and it like that okay let me reuse the size see okay i think the size will do for me let me reuse it a little bit after that i'm gonna save the the stroke that i just made this selection tool uh here's my selection tool so there's this cool trick i like to show you guys at the bottom of your your illustrate every tool that you select the name of it will be written here uh eyedropper tool as you can see here uh with what uh direct selection tool uh so yeah at board yeah so everything that you you every tool that you select the name will be written here or just by navigating to it to show you its name so most of the time i'll be using shortcuts and the tools that we are going to be using most of the time are the paint brush tool the pencil tool the shortcut is n for pencil tool the shortcut is b for the brush tool to pop up this menu you right click and then it will show everything uh yeah it will right click then you show you're gonna use the rectangle tool later on progressing with the lessons yeah okay that being said let's go back to creating our stroke you select the stroke make sure that it's selected make sure that it's selected it will show like this that is selected after selecting it you go here then new brush add brush it's an add brush i don't like to change anything here so i'm just gonna just click ok after that it's add a fill but here's the tricky part it's add a fill right but if we create a new a new artboard i like to use my measurements 18 by 18 inch uh, i think it brings the best quality in my photos the color mode is cmyk and the resolution everything you can see here i like to keep it this way so i would recommend that you keep it this way it's as simple as possible then create a new uh artwork but here's the we, we just created this stroke here here's the tricky part when you get the side you know such for it it's not there so what i would recommend so that uh, you can be able to see this thing you come to add here it is right then you click here to open this then save the brush so when you save the brush i already have a, a brush called brush so i'll save this one as brush and then one and that's it it's it if you go back to a new uh, workspace when you look for it you click here brush layer press menu then user defined you find it here it is brush one so it's saved now it's permanent every time you open your illustrator you find it there it will always be there and but today i won't be doing any any artworks i just wanted to introduce you to illustrator show you the tools that you are gonna be using navigate to illustrator i'm gonna show some cool uh hacks that you can use in illustrator even if it's not related to doing the cartoons uh so invite your friends family members to join our firm our graphics firm and the journey shall be an entertaining one so i'll be hoping to learn a lot from you guys and you guys to learn something from me you are a family here we share so uh this is the first lesson i'll be uploading another lesson soon so the best thing you can do for me send me your artworks uh my
my Facebook page, my graphics, my Instagram, my graphics21, uh, my email, my graphics21. You can find the link in my about. So, yeah, talk to me, guys. Send me what you think will be good for the lessons. Help me improve. This is the first time I have done a lesson. So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to share with everybody. Uh, I will really appreciate it. I just hit 200 subscribers. That's a milestone I'm grateful for. Thank you for everyone who hit that subscribe button. And yeah, see you guys soon.